Welcome to Tamis Max. It's 11 standard derivatives. So we have done a few questions in the last two videos and today we will continue with that. It is um, exercise 12.2. Let's see. Problem 4, subdivision 3. You're going to do it by first principle method. Okay. 1 by x squared. What is first principle method? dy by dx or f dash x. All the same only, no? f dash x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x by h limit h is 10 to 0. Fine. So f x is this. So what will be f of x plus h? For x, you will put x plus h. So f dash x is equal to limit h is tending to 0 fine take LCM Expand this. You can use a square minus b square also if you want. x squared. x square, x square will get cancelled minus. Two h x plus x square by take h outside. tends to 0? 0. 0. So what it will be? Minus 2x by x square x square x power 4. 1x will be cancelled. Minus 2 by x cube. This is how you do by first principle method. You don't want first principle, take it to the top. It is x power minus 2. n into x to the power of n minus 1. Same answer will come. <clears throat> Next, find the derivative of cos x by first principle method. Problem 10. Find the derivative of cos x by first principle method. <coughs> Limit f of x plus h minus f of x by h, h is turning to 0. f x is cos x. What is cos c minus cos d? Minus sine. Sine 
सी माइनस टी साइन सी प्लस टी कॉस सी माइनस कॉस टी टू साइन सी माइनस डी सी माइनस डी C minus d. If you put this minus this, there will not be a minus sign. And then sign this plus this by two. I hope you understand. For cos, both will be sign and there will be a minus here. Sign c minus d by two and there will be a minus in front. So this is limit. This x and x will get cancelled. Minus this two bring down here. This x plus x two x two x by two x. Yes. Now take the limit when h tends to zero. This is one. What are we have here? Same thing comes here. This is one. There's a minus here. This will become zero minus sine x. So derivative of cos x is minus sine x by first principle. Next we go for. Next we go for problem number eleven. First subdivision is not done. That will be done only after I teach you product rule. Now there are so many questions. We will do it. Problem one. Y is equal to secant x or f x. Whatever you want to write, f x is secant x. We want dy by dx of this. So what is f dash x? Secant x tan x. F dash x is secant x tan x. Next one. Problem three. So this is problem two. Secant x. And they have given you cos also, so it is five secant x plus four cos x. This is f x. F dash x is equal to. You use f dash x or dy by dx. D by dx of five secant x plus d by dx of four cos x. This five will be taken out because it's a multiple. Four outside here. Five. What is d by dx of secant x? Secant x tan x. And what is derivative of cos x? Minus sin x. So four here. So minus four sin x. So this will be your answer. Okay. Next. Next, d by dx of cosecant x. What is d by by dx? Minus cosecant x cot x. Okay. Next, three cot x plus five cosecant x. You can call it y is equal to this. You can call y or you can call f x. All symbols are correct. D y by d x. D by d x of this. So this is d by d x of three cot x. Take three outside. Cortex. Derivative of cortex minus cosecant square. 
derivative of cosecant x minus cosecant x cot x. You want you can take cosecant outside or you can leave like that. This is the answer for this question. Now next one we'll go. 5 sin x uh, minus 6 cos x uh, plus 7. Your steps are very important. minus sin x with this minus it will become plus d by dx of cos x minus sin x and derivative of a constant will be zero so this is the answer so the last problem we go y is equal to 2 tan x minus secant x So, this is the answer for uh, this question. Okay. This is 7. 2 tan x minus 7. I missed that 7. I have inserted that. 2 tan x minus 7. So, this is the uh, procedure and answer for this question. So, in the next video, we, <coughs> we will see product rule and quotient rule. And do more questions in this exercise.